now we will be looking at how we can size the vent pipes so firstly we have the vent stack sizing as you can see in the figure we have a drainage stack which is receiving the waste from every floor and to this drainage stack there is a pipe connected from the lower level to the higher level which is called as the vent stack so we have to determine what will be the size of this vent stack as you already know that vent stack is required when we have five or more branch troubles so right now in this we have one two three four five so if it is having five branch intervals so that means a vent a separate vent stack is required if it is less than five so in that case vent stack will not be required that will that a stack vent is sufficient in that case so how we can size this vent stack we have some standard from the ipc sizing of this vent stack primarily depends on three factors first is the developed length of the vent stack second size of the soil or waste stack this stack which it is connecting what will be the size of this drainage stack that depends total dfus connected to this soil or waste stack so how many dfus total from all of these branch interval are going into this complete drainage stack that we have to determine to get the size of this vent stack so this the sizing of this vent vent stack can be done from the table 906.1 ipc so this is the table 906.1 okay so as you can see in this we have a column of soil or waste stack in which the sizes of those soil and waste stack is given in inches total fixture units being vented so total fixtures connected to that soil stack or waste stack that are given over here in the next we have sizes these are the sizes of the vent stack 1 1 by 4 1 1 by 2 2 2 and a half so this is these are the sizes of the vent stack and here below we have given the developed length of the vent so these are the values of the developed length of the vent what is the developed length of the vent developed length means the length of this vent stack from the start point to the end point okay so this is this is called as the developed length of the vent stack let's take an example to understand how we can size this same example so for the given figure determine the size of the vent stack where the hydraulic drainage load for each branch interval is 18 dfu that means from each branch interval we have 18 dfus drain fixture units that are that are receiving by this uh, drainage stack okay and the diameter of this stack is four inches okay the stack diameter is four inches and here also we have given the length of this stack that is 60 feet we have to determine the size so we have the three things we have the dfus we have the diameter of this soil stack which is four inches and we have the length developed length that is 60 okay this dfu is for one branch trouble total branch trouble is five so total will be 18 multiplied by five that will be equals to 90 so total dfus which are going into this stack is 90 okay so let's go to the table what was the size of the soil stack was four inches so the first step you have to do is get the sizes 
and here we have four rows of four inches size so mark all those first that is the first step second step is total fixture units being vented so 18 into 5 was 90 so where we are having 90 this is 43 this is 140 this is 320 this is 540 so 5 uh, 90 is close to 140 so i'll mark again this row next the third step will be the developed length so developed length was 60 feet 60 feet so 60 feet if you see is close to this one so that means if i select this this is giving me the size of two and a half inches so this is how you will determine the size of the vent stack that is two and a half inches